Hi, this is Steve. I want to show you how easy it is to use the electronic bank reconciliation module within Dynamics GP and also show you how to set it up, a brief setup. So let's take a look at it. So let's go to the financial area page and go to routines. There we've got electronic reconcile. Let's take a look at the configurator first. We're going to use the configurator to match the format of the file from your bank into Dynamics GP. So what I did for my sample here was a pretty easy one. I'm just looking at detail records. Though you can have a file that has header, detail, and footer records in it as well. So I just selected uh, the detail records and let's take a look at my file here. I'm using this file here as a source file for my electronic reconcile. Let's go back to Dynamics here. Here I've got a specific configuration for a specific bank. So I've got that set up. And the next thing to do is look at the download maintenance. And what I'm going to do here is set up a maintenance ID for each account that I want to have electronic reconcile for. And you can see that how that's set up here. I also specified the source file right here. So next, let's actually run the reconcile. So there's basically three parts. I'm going to read the file, I'm going to process the file, and then we'll go into reconcile. We can do all of that from the transaction download screen. Let's open that up. Let's look up the bank download ID. Here it is. And then first what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the file. So it's going to go look at that source file and get the information. Let's do that. So it's downloaded it. Now I hit transactions. It's going to process the transactions. You can see those transactions right here. And then I'm going to flip over to Reconcile. So hit Reconcile. It'll go right into the Reconcile bank statement screen right here. So let me just put in some information here. And let's use this as a cutoff date here. Then I'll hit Transaction. So it's going to go out and process those. And we'll see the results. It's going to process everything that it can. And the things that are an exception, it's going to create a report. We'll take a look at that report because on that report are going to be items that are not in GP and also items that have a difference. So let's take a look at that. And that report is here. And here I've got three items. And the problem here is that the amount in GP differs from the amount that's coming from the bank. But that's fine. I'm going to print that out and then resolve that later during my reconcile process. So. Right now, we're still looking at the bank reconciliation module in GP, and you can see all these items that are in the bank reconciliation. If we scroll down, we can see the items that were checked off because of the electronic reconcile process. So all I need to do then is go change any of those items that are not on there properly. For example, those three errors that came up, we'll go back and fix those. But once I've got it all fixed, I can change, I can reconcile my account in the normal way, and then I'm done. So that's basically how the electronic bank reconciliation works in Dynamics GP. I set up a configuration, I do a bank ID download, and then I process those transactions in bank reconciliation. It's really a fairly simple process. You should really take a look at it and try it out in your business.